Let's talk about sideshows. They've been around for decades, and now police say they're getting bigger and more dangerous. And not only that, they're happening more frequently, too, draining resources, especially in Oakland. Investigative reporter Candace Swins found out how they may be putting your safety at risk, even if you're not a spectator. These sideshows exhaust emergency resources. And to show you what I mean, I want to take you inside a recent Oakland sideshow. The flood of 911 calls that came in, a report of someone run over, and only one police unit able to respond a half hour into the incident. <laughs> Yes, we have an aside show. All the people is just coming over here, so you can get some police officers over here. The 911 call started pouring in at 9:53 p.m. Hey, uh, I'm going to report a side show. How many vehicles, sir? A lot. Traffic brought to a standstill at 98th and Empire on August 21st. Open emergency dispatcher 72. I've been sitting here for at least eight minutes. Just a mile and a half from the Oakland airport, squealing cars disrupted work at local car rental businesses. Now nah, y'all got to keep going, bro. You can't block this entrance right here. Damn, you're smoking, bro. And Lyft drivers and parents were packed like sardines. I, mean, I can't get through. I'm trying to pick up my sister at the airport. What is going on with your city, man? And they're racing and the car smoking. What and I don't know where is your police. At 1010, a report of someone injured. I think this guy just uh, came over. He was in a white Mustang, it looked like. Somebody looks like they hurt pretty bad. Yeah. No one was transported to the hospital, but chaos continued. This is crazy. According to the Oakland Police Incident Recall Report, by 1014, no officers were assigned yet. An officer patrolling told us staffing was tight. For instance, there was a total of four officers at the time covering the entire west side of Oakland. Dispatchers were apologizing. I do apologize for the for the delay. So um, we just unfortunately don't have the resources. Otherwise, we would love to clear them out right away as soon as we get the first call. 1020, nearly a half hour after the first call, a single police unit with two officers responded. Cars started dispersing. And we are putting officers on the streets every single weekend to address Sideshow, but it's not nearly enough officers. Oakland Police Chief Leron Armstrong agreed to speak with us after we reached out with questions about his department's response. This incident consisted of about two dozen 911 calls reporting about a dozen cars, 100 spectators, a person possibly run over, and yet one police unit showed up in about a half hour. Can you explain that? We are prioritizing violent crime first. And so when our officers are all uh, assigned to a violent crime investigation, whether that be a homicide or a shooting, it makes it difficult for us to break and go to other calls like those. We pulled all the calls for service for the same hour as the sideshow that evening. Police were consumed with reports of violent crimes, including a possible dead person and four reports of shots fired. Was this a typical weekend night? Was this extreme? This is a typical weekend night in Oakland where we are receiving several calls of gunshots being fired. Officers have told me one of the most impactful things they can do is tow vehicles yeah. involved. But how can they do that if they're taking so long to respond? It is really challenging because when you tow a vehicle, that means that officer is out of service. One of the things that we're doing is taking photos of vehicles involved, photos and video of vehicles that are involved in sideshows, and then writing search warrants and getting them approved by judges to go to the individual's home and tow those vehicles as an instrument of a crime. A safer means of tracking down those involved. Police say they are intent on breaking up and ending sideshows because they're inherently dangerous, where some have turned deadly. Just last June, the chief placed two officers on leave after they were involved in this sideshow-related high-speed pursuit, where the black Nissan spun out of control and crashed into four men on the sidewalk. 28-year-old Lolo Sakai, who wasn't involved in the sideshow or the pursuit, was killed. It's a sideshow. 
it's a big problem in the city. That is you got to get somebody out here. Mm-hmm. With limited resources battling a growing problem, Chief Armstrong says the solution has to be a collective one. Between community and law enforcement and legislators. And people who participate in sideshows. Just realize the impact that you're having on our community. <laughs> Last year, Governor Newsom signed into law a bill allowing judges to suspend driver's licenses up to six months for anyone involved in a sideshow, even as a spectator. Chief Armstrong supports the new law and would like to see even harsher penalties. Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News. If you have a story for Candace or anyone in our investigative unit, give us a call at 888-996-TIPS. You can also visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.